Here are the features of the new Sokoki Magnetic Sweeper by Blue Streak Equipment. So this unit is based off of our existing Meerkat Magnet, which is a smaller unit designed more for a skid steer. This unit was designed with loaders and larger skid steers in mind. It can also be hooked onto tractors. So this Koki comes with three 6.5 inch by 9 inch by 29 inch magnet housings. And these all pivot on UHMW bushings that run across this rod that runs through the pivot point of all the magnets. So this allows you to clean off the magnet in a similar way to dumping out a bucket, same way as the Meerkat. With these larger magnets, it allows you to sweep faster and work at higher heights than the Meerkat magnet. So this thing, our recommended sweeping height is between four and seven inches. This will allow you to get over rougher terrain, have more ground clearance to prevent stuff from hitting the bottom of the magnet assembly. But if stuff does, not if, but when you do touch down with this Meerkat, it's all made out of stainless steel and heavy duty steel, which is all bolted and welded together. So this thing can take a hit off the ground if you do touch down. And also if you do touch down on the ground, the magnets are touching this back pan here. So what that does for you is when you hit the bottom of this plate onto the dirt that you're sweeping over, any nails or debris that's stuck on the bottom will just get wiped off onto the back of the magnet assembly here. So this unit does weigh 1,490 pounds, which makes it a bit heavy for a small skid steer. But we have a T66 here, Bobcat, and it's well within its lifting range. So the, this Bobcat can lift 2,500 pounds, so we can easily put this Sokoki on the front of it. The Meerkat does look a little more in place in front of the skid steer just because of the width of it. But if you're trying to cover a lot of ground quickly, you're going to want to go for the Sokoki because you can go faster because of those stronger magnets, work at higher heights. And also it is a 92 inch sweeping width rather than the smaller Meerkat. So you can see this thing's construction. This is all really thick steel and these ribs along the middle here provide a lot of support. So if you do hit anything with it, it's not going to break it. It's built tough. It's built to be on the front of heavy equipment, which so also with this Sokoki, you're going to need a, if you're trying to empty off into a bin this size, you're going to need something that can lift pretty high. We haven't checked it yet with this Bobcat but it might be tight for a bobcat of this size to get over an eight foot bin like this. This loader here does it no problem. We're gonna test a couple other loaders, make sure it all works out fine. But yes, when you're, if you're looking at this attachment for a skid steer, you need to consider the weight and whether it will work for your clean off situation. If you wanna dump into a low bin, that's no problem. Higher bin, you're gonna have to consider how high your bobcat will actually lift. So on the front of this uh, particular Sokoki, we have our optional debris digging rakes. These are all 3 8 inch spring steel, and they're built to just level the ground like we've done here already. So not only does it make a nice uh, groomed surface to drive on and work on, but it also kicks any debris that's stuck in the ground out of the ground and onto the magnet. And these are adjustable at three different heights. So you can have them just slightly below the magnet pan up in the upper position like they are now, or drop it all the way down so you're really digging into the dirt. To set the height of the Sokoki is a little different for each machine, but in general what we found is just running it into the ground, lifting it up just a tiny bit, use your best judgment you can see from the cab where you're at, and just try to put it in that four to seven inch range. Obviously you're going to bounce around as you're driving, but you can continuously adjust it using your hydraulics while you're driving to maintain the right height. Now to attach this to your machine, we offer a couple different options for brackets that bolt on, this bolts on, this big frame back here bolts onto the magnet. We offer a couple options uh, like a skid steer adapter, a couple different ones. In this case, we have a case one and um, you'll have to find out if those fit work with your machine. If they don't, what you're gonna have to do is just order the blank frame from us, which just comes with this big rectangle ladder shaped frame, and then go to an equipment dealer or fashion your own kind of hooks that are gonna get onto the front of your machine. So this thing has no onboard hydraulics, which means there's no maintenance needed on this thing. The only thing we'd recommend you do is, uh, if any of the paint gets damaged, as it probably will, touch it up before it starts rusting. <clears throat> That's just the case with any machine you're working with. 
it's made to build made to work in uh, off-road rough conditions we're on a pretty flat spot right now but any kind of rough concrete um, concrete yards construction areas mining um, processing places any kind of rough terrain you're thinking about working on this thing is able to take the hits from hitting the ground on the front of this loader so it's a great option for working in rough conditions and if you need to clear a large space quickly then almost eight foot sweeping width is really going to help you with that all the parts are available online and you can see more at bluestreakequipment.com.